Hi, welcome to Dickie's Postman channel. Normally I review selfie sticks, but sometimes I like to review other products, uh, especially to do with um, e-scooters. So this, I'm a ca avid e-scooter commuter because I use it to go to, to and from work. Now, I was looking for a mirror for my scooter and I came across this product. Now, this is the Beam Corky Urban. Now, this is a nice little mirror that fits on the end of the handlebars of your scooter or even your bike. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a road bike or a mountain bike, etc. As long as it's got handlebars, this fits on the end. Now, I paid for this particular mirror from Amazon for £24.17 and 17 pence in the UK. I'll just quickly go around the box. At the front here, it just says Corky Urban, premium rear view mirror, and the Beam, the company that makes it, and we go around and we have here, on this side, it just tells you the basically how to install the mirror, and it comes with two fittings, but I'll show you that later on, how to install it. And on the back here, just got a user guide, how to obviously use the product and a replacement guide here as well. And then on the side here, back to the same instructions, but this is how to use the other fitting that you get there, get with it. Now, this is what you get in the box. You get the, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. You get the mirror and the unit here and you get a silicon rubber um, holder here for solid handlebars. So this will mainly go on e-scooters, such as your Xiaomi and your Ninebots, that will go on there. Now, some other scooters like your Jewelrons and your Carbos might have a hollow um, handlebars, so you're gonna have to use this particular fitting now. This fitting goes mainly into bikes, such as mountain bikes, your road bikes, BMXs, etc and your e-bikes they will go into that particular handlebar because it's hollow now i'll just quickly explain what you need to do you also get a um, allen key now where if you've got a hollow um, handlebars on your bike so, so when you remove the actual handlebar cover or grip you place that into the hollow section of the bike. It doesn't matter what the dimensions are of that particular hollow, whether big or small, because as you tighten this with the Allen key that you get with it, this unit here or wedge screws down, which opens these three fingers. Now this unit is made out of plastic. If you break it, you're gonna have to apply, have to contact um, the beam stroke corky to get a replacement so that's what this is for and that's why you need the allen key so it's for hollow handlebars now this rubber silicon unit here or fixture is for solid handlebars now this is going to be mainly i would say is for people who use e-scooters um, such as your nine butts and Xiaomi's and any other scooter that looks like those scooters that have solid handlebars you need this fixture and I'll show you that later on how to fix it on at the top here the actual mirror itself and it is made of plastic but the mirror is made of glass now the mirror um, diameter is 35 millimeters or if you use imperial measurements it's just under one and a half inches in diameter it is a convex mirror and it's made out of glass and you do have a very wide field of view with this mirror even though it's small it has a very wide field of view now if you want to place this take this off this mount to place it onto this mount, 
you simply undo the screw here which is a very fine screw and nut that's there and it uses a cross head now this is the same screw that you will use if you want to make an adjustment on the tightness of this mirror because at the moment out the box for me it's quite tight but if it loosens up obviously you tighten it with this particular screw here which has a nut on the back now the mirror does rotate round in a 360 degrees on this plastic ball here and it does have it does swing out I would say probably about 70 degrees and when placing back it has a satisfying clip as you can hear and when you want to release it has this little kind of um, tail here if you want to call it that or lip here which is simply pull out and it flicks out the mirror now here's my nine bot max and the handle here now i'm going to put the corky on the right hand side because in england um, our steering wheel and our cars are we drive on the right so i need my mirror to be on the right hand side which is basically the side that has the the accelerator on there the thumb throttle on there now as i stated before the nine butt has a solid handle so this is solid metal all the way through so you cannot use this particular fitting here as I stated before it is for hollow handles only and this is a solid handle so we can't use this so now we're going to use the actual silicon rubber uh, fitting for this handle now we get the rubber fitting here or silicon fitting we want the part that has the screw here this part here we want it facing away from us and we want the actual opening here or this lip here facing towards us and all you do you simply slot this on the end so we push it on like so and using the palm of your hand you're gonna simply just work it on and push it on all the way like so and as you can see it's now on so I'll just to double check that this fitting is all the way onto the handles simply press with the palm of your hand with the mirror closed obviously press down just keep pushing and now that is on and now because this is silicon rubber and the handle bar grip is rubber it makes a nice tight fit now if you want to really secure this I suggest you use one of these <laughs> it's hard to get it in focus folks use one of these a cable tie and um, the broader the cable tie the better I suggest that you use a black cable tie rather than a yellow one or any other color because when you place it on there obviously you can see unless you purposely want to know that it's there like or to let other people know that it's there then you can use another color but I suggest just use a black cable tie when placing the cable tie you want the head of the cable tie to be round that way forward bring the back bring it down and make sure the head is at the bottom and what you want to do just create a loop bring down the cable tie and I suggest bringing it probably about half an inch away from the end of the mount itself just close the cable tie and try and keep the head underneath and simply pull on the cable tie and to make it just a bit tight use a pliers and just simply pull with the pliers to get it tight but don't pull on it too much because you don't want the cable tie this is why I say you've got to use a broad cable tie because you don't want it to rip 
into this silicon you just want it just to fasten on the silicon and that's it so I just use the pliers to pull down on the remaining tail of the cable tie just to give it tight but not too tight and as you can see it doesn't go into the actual rubber so that's why I'm saying use a broad cable tie and once you've done that you can use this end here the wire cut up part to cut the end of the cable tie or if you've got a cable tie cutter like this then you can just use that because that will just give it a nice smooth level cut so we just cut it like so that gives it a nice smooth level cut now switch the handlebars around and this is how it looks at the end of the handlebars perfectly in line with the grip and the handlebars and when I place my hand around it and this is why you need to place the bottom of if you're going to place a cable tie on there this is why you need to put the head of the cable tie underneath because when you grip and lease the head is underneath and your fingers won't affect it so and it won't catch on to your, the palm of your hands when it's underneath so that's why you need to place the head now once on there you can just simply clip out the mirror here and that's how it looks when it's out and then you can simply make your adjustments that you need once on the scooter simply by rotating the mirror and as I said it has a 360 degree rotation on there and a 70 degree um, when pulling out from its holder uh, this is how the Corky Urban looks on the 9 Bot Max and as you can see it doesn't take away from the handlebars the look of the handlebars whatsoever and as I says if you want for extra um, tightness or to really keep this on just place the cable tie on there and if you want to make an adjustment of that mirror you're going to need uh, one of these which is a cross head or Phillips screwdriver and you simply place it on screw down on the screw that's in there to tighten that or loosen for the mirror and to just place the mirror out as I says you use this little lip here pop it out and there you can make your adjustment of the mirror and that's how it looks on the 9 bot max or Xiaomi M365 or any scooter that has the solid handlebars and as I stated before if you're going to place it on hollow handlebars you're going to need the other fitting but that's how it looks on an e-scooter thanks for watching the video if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down I perfectly understand my videos can be long but I like to go into detail to save you the trouble of when you buy the product you know what to expect so that's why my videos are long um, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time